most of you guys by now have downloaded iTunes 11 and uh, pretty much shows up like this. And the one thing I saw that a lot of people didn't realize and I actually didn't realize is I thought it completely sucked because I couldn't move things to my iPod because I had to drag it all the way over. And uh, basically that was a pain because I couldn't drag like entire albums and everything like that anymore. And I couldn't drag my entire playlist over. And it just, it completely bothered me. So I just wanted to show you guys a, a couple new things to, or not new things, a couple things that could help you guys out with trying to get it similar to the old iTunes without being like down, downgrading it to the 10.7. So the first thing that you have to do is up at the top where it says this little halfway mark up there, you go to uh, show menu bar or control B, but it's no one remembers these control things and you open it up like that and then now you have file edit view and everything like this now you have to do the view and show sidebar and there you go now I know a lot of people probably knew that already but for me I didn't know that and I just thought it was a very cool thing and I couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube and so now I get to see all my like Beatles stuff like Beatle playlist and John Lennon of course and there's also some new things that like you have the up next thing for iPod music so you can like because suppose if I hated like uh, frame by frame I just decided to X out of that and now I don't have to listen to it when instead of skipping it every time so if you're doing work or anything that's a very awesome thing I also like how I can go back to my music and then when I pop that up it has a little like picture of the album right there I kind of think that's cool but yeah that's new for uh, iTunes 11 and if you guys um, have any more questions that I might be able to answer just put it in the comments below thank you